Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you doing? Hope you are well, Shinan's here. Just want to make a small video showing you my recipe for gato butter. So hope you will delighted to have this recipe. And so I carry on with my uh, video. Yeah. So guys, I'm taking uh, one, uh, two cup of uh, plain flour. So, no, 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 empty more, empty, yeah. Yeah, so it's 250 grams, so all together 500 grams. I think would be enough, you know. Enough? Yes. So I don't want to add that much. Yeah, a little bit more? A little bit more, yeah. I want to feel that taste of not the yeah it's enough enough yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so guys i'm putting only only like uh, one two, uh, cup uh, uh, no not really one cup it's more than one cup mm -hmm. okay yeah. yeah Hmm. So guys, and then uh, in the flour, I'm mixing the milk powder. I put three tablespoons, three spoon. Make it more tasty, you know. Stop. So guys, uh, this is the coconut, uh, like I grate. So this became like this, and the remaining is small, is small. What I'll do, I'll do it in a coconut chutney. Mm, spicy With coconut that. chutney. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, spicy one. And this one, you know, for the gato butter. So I'll take some sugar, granulated sugar. I did not take. You can put the caster sugar as well. So. Here you go, three spoon. Plus, uh, I know uh, they normally they don't do, but me I, I, I'll make in my in my way. So I put a little bit of the ground almond. You can try this as well and make it more tasty. And also, guys, you can add the, the vanilla essence. Doesn't matter you are using the crown almond, but you can use that. Just for a flavor. Yeah, just mm -hmm. for a flavor. Cool. So, guys, in this, I put the... Uh, plain flour and uh, milk powder and as you see uh, this uh, is uh, the sweet potato I just taste it but it's not that much sweet so to make the the what you call the dough look uh, sweet so I just put in the in the mixture a little bit of the icing sugar Icing sugar, the powdered sugar they call so icing sugar, and then it gives like a sweetness. A sweetness, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. For more appetite. For more appetite. <laughs> yeah. So, and then I mix it, and normally as well they don't put the uh, uh, what you call uh, ghee, but me I like to put a little bit ghee yeah. in the dough. So. I think it gives that softness when you e add Exactly, the, exactly, uh, yeah. This, and then I will mix, bismillah. Yes. So I will mix all together. Mm. 
so guys the, the dough is nearly there so uh, as I took uh, 500 grams of the flour I removed some but later on you, when you mix the dough you see you need more flour you can add the one so all together that's mean like 500 grams would be uh, good for uh, I took the four of the sweet potato mm. so for four sweet potato 500 grams of, of uh, uh, plain, flour. plain flour yeah. Um. That looks a soft dough. Yeah, soft dough. Because normally they don't do with me, I, I prefer to put a little bit of ghee. Ghee, Every, yeah. Uh, ghee make it more tasty. Tastier, you know? yeah. yeah. Usually they take water? No. No. No, no, no. Just In plain. Dough, plain, plain. The oh. dough should be, the dough should be only with the uh, sweet, sweet pot potato. Uh, the, uh, what do you call uh, plain flour, plain flour, and the milk powder. Yeah, and, yeah. and like I, I'm taking some of the ghee. So uh, yes, yeah. it's different because some people don't take the ghee. They don't yeah. put it. But me, I like to put the ghee. <laughs> what is your favorite dish? Dish like uh, for the cake, for what? Ah, uh, whatever. In desserts, <laughs> what is your favorite? In uh, normal. Uh, Indian or Mauritian cuisine, which is your favorite? Anyway, I think I think the favorite uh, would be Ras Malai. Ras Malai. Oh yeah, I remember. Every time Ma goes to a store, to a halal shop, she doesn't forget to bring the Ras Malai. Yeah. So guys, as you see, this is my dough. You see? Oh, that's a nice dough. Soft. It doesn't look like it's just made with the sweet potato. Yeah, you see? nice that's a nice one this one so so for today guys i'm making like the chicken soup as you see my chicken is here and i'm making like uh, meat curry with lentil mm. so i'll make it like masala masala curry, masala yeah. one yeah and i put uh, like uh, you know inshallah i will give you the more recipe but yeah. today i'm giving you only Two recipes like for the coconut, so that's been the the gato batat and my chutney. So the chutney, you see, I, I'm putting like the mint, the coconut, the tamarind, three uh, cloves, and three of the what you call uh, green chili. Green chili, and uh, then I will add the. I will add uh, salt and a little bit of honey. Honey. Honey is my favorite. Favorite. So That's a secret ingredient in secret the chutney. <laughs> honey is the best. <laughs> Everything is plated. All the ingredients. The other day, Ajmal brought us to TK Maxx. Actually, we just went for a window shopping, but we end up buying this uh, dish strainer. It strains the water from the dishes. It's a good spacious one. The only thing I didn't like is the plates. You know, when you... It, it's usually for small plates, and we have the big size plates. So, but the best thing is it has a small dish, so yeah, the whole it, thing doesn't get wet. Exactly, and we it, can use it. See, yeah. the last, uh, this one is the best because I buy that from TK Max as well. The yeah, other one. This but one. this one I put it at uh, the back so that when we finish wash the dishes, we put in that and we remove it and yeah. put it over there. So it's for for this strainer, strainer yeah. guys, this uh, plates are okay. This size plates are perfect. And the best thing is it has a small tray which collects all the water. So the whole thing doesn't get wet for use. So it's it's the best one. Go. So guys, I put the whole to be heat. And I'm using the vegetable oil. You know for frying everything I use the vegetable oil. But for my cooking I use sunflower oil or the uh, olive oil. Olive oil, I, I use this one. It's a Spanish extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, it's a good one. So the oil is getting heated. Yeah. 
why the oil is getting heated. So what we do, take the dough. One second, go. So guys, on my earlier video, I show, I already showed you about the, this, this is a set of the dumpling, but we use it for gato batata as well. And I will show you the method like more, uh, the other uh, normally we used to is with, with a fork. Mm. But nowadays everything changed, you know, new, yeah. new uh, like uh, invention, new style. New style. Yeah, lots of invention oh. now. So easy. So, so I'll show you. Also. So guys, show you. So you put in this, and then just press from and here to shape it. it. That's it. Yeah. That's something in invented. <laughs> So those are the circles, the round to give shapes, whichever shape you'd like. Okay, so So guys, to all my friends as well, as I know the value already already gone, so maybe you can try my recipe anytime, because uh, gato batata doesn't mean like we have, we, some, uh, I know it's used mostly special occasion and the value, but anyway, when we want to eat, you can do anytime, so maybe by uh, next Diwali you can try. And you do comments below, please. Yes, guys, you need to show us some love. Share the video. Share it to your friends. Yeah. Show how our culture is portrayed here. And not only that, I know, uh, you know, as my uh, daughter-in-law is from India, so I know also some recipe from India. But like, you know, the Indian, they mostly use our, most of the chili. But we don't use that much, but I can, I can make, uh, I, I normally I make the dish, but I reduce. Instead of putting like five chili, I can cut, I put three chili, it depends on that, you know. But it would be the same. So, this like this, you know. Uh -huh. And then I took, uh, I'm going to use the instrument. Now. This one. <laughs> I think this one is a smaller one. Do it like this. Yep. So again, guys, I will do that again. Here, now, wow, you see? look how beautiful they came. Yeah, lovely. And the door also looks so like a I car. So I think this should oh. be. For the smaller one. Oh, this for the smaller yeah, one. Yeah, the smaller. We have the bigger one as well. As well. So I, I have a, another one like I, I bring. So like it's exactly that shape. You just need to make it fully covering. So that when you fold it gets tight. The main aim is the edges to be mm -hmm. tightened. So guys, I have this set. So for the bigger one, I'm using one of these. I think this will be the right one. Yeah, this will be the right one. The size is perfect. Yeah. Because this is big. This is the last size in the thing. Yeah, it look big. When but, you buy it, look big. When but it's no. Not. See, this is the big size yeah. from the set. Yeah. But when you cut them, they become the size of a small dumpling. Yeah. So, that's the thing. This is big, but... Guys, the size is the same one, same as small one. Yeah. So, guys, stuffing of grated coconut with ground almond, ground almond, and vanilla essence. Vanilla essence. Oh, that's so. like proper sweet, sweet one. <laughs> yeah. So. so. The stuffing, I can't put that much. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Bismillah. The main aim is to tighten the edges, guys. So make sure the edges are very, very nicely tight. Uh -oh. 
slowly, slowly. Slowly. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. The dough is too soft. The dough is soft. Yeah. Once again, the first time I'm using this. Yeah. You. Yeah. I think I have to do. So guys, I'm showing you the way we used to do it before. But I think it's still, it's still uh, they do it like this. Here you go. We can do this. I'm sorry, Hina. So I think, uh, yeah. The, I think I shouldn't press it that much. Yeah. Come, Hina. You need to be like very delicate with that because yeah, it's soft. Yeah, it's very soft. They do my broke, you know. Yeah, let's see. I make it this one. It came good, but... Yeah, the edges still needs to be a bit tight. Yeah, so, because in the sand, like... Yeah. So, wait. So, it's better to just once press with the fork and give a design. I, I'll try That's again. It. I'll try again. I'll try again. Yeah. See, maybe here. See? Yeah. Do it like this. Yes. I think it should be a little bit bigger, but this is the size they give. Yeah. I try with the size that they gave, you know. So, let's see. It's smaller. They get a stick, you know. Yeah, because because of the dough. Of the dough, yeah. Yeah, there you go. But this is not, not bad. This is, here you go. I'll try one more of the big. Okay, you know? Yeah. So we'll keep this for frying till then. And yeah, we yeah. Turn. Yeah. You guys can see the oil is properly heated now. Go. There you go. Again, I don't know all the things here. It's better on a safer side, just use the fork and uh, yeah, because press the ends. This one, this is the first time I'm using I'll try a bigger one now. Now, I'll just flip over because one yeah, side yeah. is nicely cooked. Let's just flip to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Let it cook nicely. Yeah. Mostly use. So it's nicely cooked on the both the sides. So I will remove the first batch. Nicely drain the oil. I mean, strain the oil, sorry. <laughs> To drain the oil, strain the oil. It should be like light golden brown type, not like brown brown burning. No, oil. no, no, no. I think it should be more bigger. Yeah, this size is okay now. That size is okay. Uh, I'm just going to come and show you. It fit for this one. Oh, I can't understand what the story with that. You know? Coming. <laughs> this is how it looks. So that's the first batch. Put it on a tissue. Place them on a tissue so that the whole oil is strained. And then you can taste it. Yeah. Uh, now I'm using this, uh, this one. one. Let's see. It's too much garnish. Oh, the stuffing. The stuffing is... Uh, I, I'm not sure. I think this might be good. I have a wipe. So, oh, not bad. 
At least it's better than the uh, previous yeah, ones. But why? Eh? Because with the plastic, when you see, it became very nice. See, the Here one... you go. Here you go, guys. So. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm Our main sure aim is to show you guys how the stuff is from Amazon that we bought. Yeah. Because usually we use the old the, style that's using a fork, fork. and closing yeah. the yeah, yeah. edges. But this time we we wanted to use this and show you guys but how it works. But I think, I think, I'm not sure because this is metal. Because when we see the uh, plastic one, I think the plastic is much better. Much better, yeah. I think so. And with this one... Guys, it was see. properly a thick one. See that? Look at that. The edges were thick and they're like properly... Now it's good one. Is it? Now it came good. Good, yes. Yeah, because the dough should be a little bit more thicker. Uh, thicker. Yeah. Go. After so many attempts, now Ma got it. You tell that? It's a new video? No, same video. Good. Okay. So guys, uh, what I do, the dough, I, I, I don't uh, like roll it uh, thin, make it a little bit thicker. And then uh, I'm using the big one. So I'm stuffing it. Here you go. And this is the big one. Press it. Here you go. And it's come up. How nicely. Wow, that's good. It's lovely. That means, uh, as I told you, like the dough should be a little bit thicker. Thicker. Yeah, um, yeah, thicker. Then it's been, you so see, how nicely. It's yeah, it's nicely, lovely. Sorry. Yeah. Ma is going to do the tasting. So guys, let's see the... That's how the plating is. So you see, uh, with the dumpling mold, so you have two sizes. So one is smaller one, and this is the bigger one. So I make the plate like with the honey. This is the just to show like with the coconut what type of thing we can make. You know, so that's a set so, plate. So I try a smaller one, guys, because <laughs> I don't like big, big. So I'm trying. Bismillah. very nice the dough is mm. very nice very tasty and it's very good yeah. so guys hope hope uh, you will try it just try and leave your comments below please so uh, inshallah um, uh, later I will show you the chutney the coconut chutney for for now uh, uh, stay tuned so guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to share our videos and show some so guys, with the remaining dough, so I'll, I'll make some small snack for the kids, you know. I have Z Zainab with me, Zainab and Aisha today. So Aisha, they will come spend here. All the day with me today. They want to come to Nani, yeah? Good girl. So I'm making for them, you see, for the re remaining of the dough. You see, and then we, you just put, Sp yeah, yeah, sprinkle some sugar. Sprinkle some uh, powdered sugar on it, sugar. yeah, yeah. Bye. Yes, eat ma. I shall will taste one. Yeah, and eat you also. Ooh, it's a taste. Taste. Yeah. One. taste one. Yeah, good. Guys, the roti is ready to eat. It's uh, with the dough that left with the uh, sweet potato, flour, and uh, milk powder. See. So hi, say hi, Zainab. Hi. Yee. Happy? Happy to come to Nani's place? Yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good, good girl. Guys, my coconut chutney is ready to serve. So, um, so what else? I uh, with the dough, as I told you, like uh, I already made the uh, gato batat, and uh, I make some with the dough, the, the remaining dough, and then as well, you can make like the. Uh, roti, the wrap, you know, you can make it with the dough. The, uh, uh, if any sweet, uh, it would be very nice. Sweet potato wrap or roti, it's very nice. So you can try it. So I'm, I'm trying this. So, guys, for today, I ending my video here. 
hopes you like my video and uh, if you have any comments please comments below and uh, inshallah i'll see you on my next vlog thank you very much allah peace